They are three AI data analysis and reporting systems that we've sold to marketing agencies, e-com and SaaS businesses. Data analytics are some of the most time consuming and requested AI automations. So these can be great use cases to pitch if you're an AI agency or to save time and improve decision making if you run a business. And in this video, I'll walk you through the solutions, show you how they work and the templates will be for free in the link in the description below. If you want more of these types of templates, one-on-one -on -one tech and lead gen coaching, plus our premium agency templates, you can also check out my AI accelerator. And if you're a business, wanting to work with our AI agency, you can also book a free call with us in the description below. Now, the first one is an automatic meta ad campaign reporting system. We built this using a combination of NADN, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. And this system basically generates a meta ad campaign report on a monthly basis. So it analyzes the performance of the campaigns over the last month. It automatically creates graphs, uh, visuals, and conclusions into the slides. It compares uh, different campaigns you're running, the platforms, the placements, and the demographics. Now, this is a great system for uh, marketing agencies, e-com businesses, and really any other type of business that runs meta ads. Uh, because ad managers and agencies usually spend a lot of time in data analysis and campaign uh, performance reporting to their clients. And also because, of course, a large part of running ads is in analyzing data and optimizing campaigns based on the data. So this can really make a big impact uh, for some of these companies. And anyone who knows the Meta Ad Manager also knows that it's not the most intuitive way to do data analytics. Now, how does it work? As you can see, it is quite a complex one, but if you're going to duplicate the template in the description below, you don't have to change that much. The hard work is mostly done for you. Mostly you'd have to connect the Facebook graph API to get the data from meta ads. You also have to connect your Google slide API and Google sheets API, and then it should work for you. Of course, you can also uh, customize the template of the Google slides. And then in order to connect those APIs, you have to set up a Google zero off. Uh, which I don't want to bore you with in this video. So I'll add a quick video tutorial in the free resources link too on how to set it up. But I'll give you a very quick rundown uh, on how this works. As you can see here on the left, it gets triggered uh, through a scheduled trigger node that runs on a monthly basis. It then duplicates here the previous slideshow on Google Slides and the Google Sheet for the new month. Then each of the workflows here basically updates one slide of the full report. Now the first node here just gets the slide ID and sets the specific slide we're gonna update. Then we're gonna um, get the slide content through the Google Slide API in the second one. So we know the JSON structure for when we upload the new data onto the slide. So this is the Google Slide API. Then we use the Facebook Graph API uh, to get the data from Meta Ads. Now, if you wanna know how to uh, set up the Facebook Graph API, I explained it in one of my previous videos, which you can uh, watch after this video. I'll also make sure to link it in the description below. Uh, and then basically in these code nodes here, in the first code node, we make the calculations comparing the previous month's data and the new month's data. And that's output it here. And then in the second code node, we structure the data, the new data we got, right, in the right format to upload it into Google Slides, right, which we do right here, which again is the Google Slide API. Then we use another uh, basic LNM chain to uh, get the conclusions and the summary for the slide, for example, in this one here or this one here. And then again, this code node structures the format right to upload it into the Google uh, Slides API, which is this last node. And then when there's a graph in the slide like this one, we have one more step involved, which you can see here, which is first we upload the data onto a Google Sheet where we create a graph out of, out of the data here. And then we take the graph ID, which we can take from the Google Sheets API. We again format it into the right way, and then we can present it in real time onto the Google Slides like you see here. So it's automatically updated from the Google, uh, Google Sheets. Now again, if you need some help in setting this up or customizing the template, you can, you can check out my community where we have one-on-one -on -one tech help available to help you set this up maybe a bit quicker. But it's not that difficult. You mostly have to uh, connect your own APIs. The rest of the work is already done. Now, the second system is a Google Analytics Slack agent. This system is set up with Slack, of course, with Google Analytics and NADN. And it might look very simple, and it is, but we have sold this to two companies and both of the customers really loved it and we use it internally a bit too. And all this agent really does is it has access to the Google Analytics API so we can ask questions about our marketing and conversion data right from within Slack. Again, anyone who knows the Google Analytics uh, platform knows it can be quite intimidating. It's not the most intuitive platform and it can be hard to interpret results from. So the great uh, thing of this system is that the entire team, even people who don't understand Google Analytics, can just ask questions in natural language to get insights fast. Now, for example, here I asked what pages are users abandoning uh, most and at what point, and I get a full report and insight on this. 
Now we've seen that these Slack use cases are very strong use cases that many companies love because besides it being useful, of course, it also leads to higher adoption of AI in the business. Now, why is that? Because other people see other people using these tools from within Slack, which ed educates them on how and when to use these kinds of agents, which creates more AI adoption across the company. Now, how does it work? Again, really simple, right? We have a Slack trigger here and an output, and then we have an AI agent that has access to to the Google Analytics API here. Again, to set up the Google Analytics API, you need to set up Google uh, Zero Auth. And again, this template will be for free in the link in the description below. And then in the prompt, we give the agent some context on uh, the tools it has access to, the required parameters to use the tools uh, for the Google Analytics API and when to use which tool, which again, you can read the prompt in detail if you uh, copy the template, uh, but we also clearly instruct at the end um, that the goal of the agent is not just to fetch data, but to actually provide insights together with recommendations based on the data. So all you really need to do to make this work for you is set up Google Analytics API and the Slack integration. And lastly, we have an automatic SEO data reporting system. Now I showed this one in my previous video too, but it fits well in this one too. And it's a system we've sold quite a few times and customers have been really happy with because SEO reporting is a real pain point for many marketing agencies, but also other businesses running SEO. All right, of course, this is part of the bigger solutions we, uh, solution we have created, which is our AI SEO agent, which is a full end-to-end -end AI SEO solution. Uh, but we've also sold this uh, separate from it. Now, as you can see, it's a very similar uh, setup as the Meta Ad uh, reporting system. And it basically delivers a full SEO report on a monthly basis inside of Google Slides. It analyzes uh, not the Facebook Graph API, of course, but in this case, Google Analytics and the Google Search Console data. It adds that data into the Google Sheets again, and then draw, draws these graphs and visualizes the data inside here. It also compares uh, month over month metrics and uh, it provides summaries just like in the meta ad one and conclusions uh, right on the slide. So how does the system work? Again, very similar to the meta ad system, right? You can see we use a very similar flow. Each one uh, of the flow is uh, one slide, updating one slide. Um, but the difference here is, of course, we're not just using the Facebook Graph API to get the data, but we're using Google Analytics and the Google Search Console API. Again, in order to set these up, you need to uh, install the Zero Auth, which uh, you can find a quick tutorial on how to do that uh, with the free resources in the link in the description below. So to set this up, all you really need to do is the hard work, again, is done for you. All you need to do is connect your Google Slides API, your Google Sheets API, your Google Search Console API, and, of course, customize the template of the Google Slideshow if you want to. And again, if you need some more help setting it up, you can also check out my accelerator where we have many more of these types of templates available and one-on-one -on -one tech help to help you set these up quickly. Now, just as a quick note, templates can be useful, but usually have to be customized a bit for each client if you're gonna sell these. And if you wanna learn how to actually get clients to sell these kinds of AI automations, you can also check out the video here above.